Hey guys, welcome back to episode number two on how to make a Discord economy bot. So, in the last episode, wait, I'm like saying, I'm like speaking as if this is some kind of Minecraft Let's Play. Alright, so in the previous tutorial, um, I showed how to make the skeleton, so you can basically use this to make whatever bot you want. But we want to make an economy bot, and an economy bot, uh, in an economy bot, we have to let users start the game. We don't want users to automatically join it, because what if they don't want to join it? So, we're gonna have to use the node.js file system. So, this is used for reading and writing files, so we're gonna need that. And we also need a place to store it, so let's have a new folder, let's call it db, short for database. New file, let's call it users.json. You're gonna need two curly braces, so because um, that's like the JSON format, and then the information's gonna go in there. So we can just save that, close it, and now what we want to do is we want to make a start command. So if arg0, arg0 is the command name, is equal to start, then action here. Here are the action, action to start. So we want to read the database. So database will be... So, since this is a JSON file, you have to do json.parse because that's just what you do. It converts it into a JavaScript object from JSON. So, now you want to do fs.readfile sync. Sync means it's synchronous, which means it goes based on normal command flow. And you want to do dv, so you do dot slash to go one because you're in the same directory, db slash users.json, and there you have it. You, this variable stores this entire file right there. So now what you want to do is, this is basically a JavaScript object now, you do user json, and you need some kind of identifier, so then you can look up the user again. We usually use the id of it, so you do the id of the user, so message.author.id, and here, you basically have all the data you want to store. So, um, we want to store someone's balance. And, um, yeah, I think that's all we want to store for now. So, bal, short for balance. And you also have to save it. So, we have to write the file again. fs. write file sync. This is synchronous. Again, sync, short for synchronous. You want to use the same path again, uses.json. And you want to do json.stringify, turns into a json object, user json. So we're basically just saving the json back into here. So you basically have your start command now. I should stop saying basically. Anyways, you want to tell them that it works. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to use an embed because embeds look cooler. So success embed is equal to new discord dot new because it's a new one message embed and what we can do now is success embed dot title this will be the title of the embed self-explanatory will be success i can't spell success and the description will be set set description oh wait sorry this is set title by the way Set description, set title. Set description, you have you have joined the economy. And then probably we just tell them to do some kind of help page. Like some help command. So type help to get started. Or you can just DM them the help page, whatever. To DM them, you just do message.author.send. And then whatever you want there. So now we have to send it in the same channel that the user called the command. So message.channel.send, um, you send success embed. And when we type node dot, we go into our browser, the amazing bot. We type start, it says success, you have joined the economy. Type help to get started. Well, of course, um, we don't have a help page yet, so we can't do anything. So now if you look in the JSON file, you'll see the ID of the user and bal0, we're broke. 
Okay, now you also have to get your economy started because if everyone just joins and they have zero, whatever your currency is called, then they'll never get started because nobody can buy anything. They're all poor, so we're gonna need a daily command to introduce more, more money into your economy. So uh, we type return because after after you call this command, you don't want to check for anything else. It's a waste of time. You just want to end the whole thing right here after you figure out what you want to do. So now you do another if statement, if arg0 equals to daily, we're going to have a daily command. Uh, you have to re- wait, let's use let because if we use var for both of them, then what will happen is we'll get an error because you can't use the same variable name. But if we use let, then let has something called a block scope. So in between these curly braces, if I use the same name outside of this, then that's completely fine. So let user json again to json.parse. You read the file, same location. And what you want to do is you want to decide what your daily reward is. Let's just say our daily reward is 500. So user dot user json you look up the user dot you you do plus equal which adds something a number to whatever plus equal 500 so now they have 500 extra whatever your currency is and you have to save it too so right file sync uh yep and you have to you have to convert this back into json and I'll save to send a success embed again. You set title, success. I mean, you can make it whatever you want. This is just what I prefer. And then for description, we'll do something like, um, you have claimed the daily reward of 500. Uh, what should we call the currency? 500 discord coins okay and we also have to check if oh wait we probably want to check if it's the same day that they claimed it so we would probably have another variable called last claim functions dot oh wait sorry new date dot get time and now what we want to do is uh, basically, when when we start, oh wait, this should probably be zero. But every time someone claims, we have to update the la the time of which they claimed last. So if they so they can't claim twice on the same day. So now what we do here is we have to actually make another check. If user JSON author the ID um, wait dot last claim wait so we have to find the difference between the time now and the time then so new date dot get time which gets the time in milliseconds um, minus so this right here is a difference in milliseconds and we're trying to find the amount in days so so all we would have to do is divided by so there's a thousand milliseconds in a second. There's 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, and 24 hours in a day. And we also have to floor it because, um, yeah, we just do. Because if it's a decimal, then it doesn't, it won't work. Because if it's like 0 0.5 days, it doesn't even, it's basically just zero, so we have to round it down. So, if if the floor of the difference of the previous time we claimed and, the, and now is uh, less than one, no wait, yeah, less than one, meaning the difference in time has been less than one day, then we have to make another parentheses, less than one. So if the difference in time is less than one day, then we have to throw an error. So we have to do let warning embed equals to new discord.message embed. 
Oh, yeah, we just do that. And we do warning embed.setTitle error. And we set our respective description. So the description would be you have claimed today already and you wouldn't be allowed to claim again. So now uh, if we, let's try out our thing. Wait, let me just delete this entry from the database, delete it, and let's restart. So if I do start, I have joined the economy. If I do daily, oh wait, I forgot to, you have to also do message that channel send warning embed right here. And you'll have to send the success embed too. I forgot to send the embeds. And, and we also have to update the last claim as well. So whenever we claim it, we just update the time that we last claimed. So it works. All right, and then I'll delete this one and we'll retry. So if we do start, I join daily. I claimed a daily reward of 500 Discord points. If I try daily again, it says error. You have claimed today already. So I'm gonna have to wait 24 hours before I want to claim again. So that's basically all for this video. I'll probably do more commands in other videos. I'll probably do like a few commands for video until you can finally get your very own working economy bot.